This conversation between Brandon Sanderson and Christopher Paolini was part of TorCon, a four-day virtual convention held by Tor Books and Den of Geek in June, featuring panels with some of speculative fiction's most exciting authors. During the conversation, Sanderson spoke about Rhythm of War, the much-anticipated fourth installment in his best-selling fantasy series, Stormlight Archive. So my question then is, after having worked on it for so long, I mean, we're coming up on 10 years, and I know you wrote another version of Way of Kings in the past, so it is well over 10 years you've spent on this series. How does it feel? I mean, is the enthusiasm still there? Is it just such a part of your life that it's just impossible to think about what it would be like without the series? And I mean, where, where are you at with it? Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to put it. Like the Stormlight Archive will be the defining series of my career um, because it'll be the longest <laughs> and the one I've spent the most time on, right? Like there's, um, there's, there's no option for another one really to become the defining series because if I'm going to be finishing the next six books of this and doing them every every three years, there's 20 more years of writing on this series. Yeah. Um, and so, yes, um, it is inseparable from, you know, what I wanted to do with fantasy. This is the series that is doing what I wanted to do with fantasy. This is where I, mm. I set out to carve my space in the genre. Um, and I'm on a very long journey to finish it. Um, and I knew that going in. I guess my question for you is you are coming up on the fourth book coming out, and I know that the fifth, is this the end of the first cycle of the series? Yeah, it's the end of the first cycle. Right. And then the, the fifth book will be a middle book and then the next cycle. Is that right? The, the fifth book will be, yeah, the, basically there's, there's going to be a 10 year gap in world between um, there. It's really two five book series, um, but 10 is so mythologically important to the books that I had to call it a 10 book series. Um, um, there will be some character continuity between the two the two series, but I kind of have them very separate in my mind. So yeah, I'm coming to the end, um, the first ending uh, of the sequence. Oh boy! Like how do you, how do you keep a sense of triumph and success through that process? Part of it is my beta readers know to talk about what they like also, mm. um, and so I'm getting. Even though it doesn't feel like it, when you're reading through it, it feels like you're just getting punched in the face, right? Yep. Um, but a good editor knows to periodically tell you what they're liking as well, and my beta readers do this. And so you do get this sort of um, carrot and stick sort of thing. It's like, here, you did this really well. Bam, you did this really <laughs> wrong. Um, that helps a little bit. Uh, but your mind is not is going to naturally ignore just like, you know, you 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 your mind gravitates to the one star reviews and ignores yep. the five star reviews. Yep. You can have a four point five average, but your eyes are immediately and say, well, how many people hated it? Yeah. Um, and that's just how our minds work. It is rough. Um, you know, this is part of why I hate editing. Um, <laughs> I really yeah. like the editing process because I have to confront all the things I'm doing poorly. I guess it's just you put on your big boy pants. And you say, I asked for this. Yep. I know it's going to make the book better. Um, I legitimately feel the difference between my early works before I got published, because, you know, I wrote 13 before I sold one. And actually selling was when I started listening to feedback um, yeah. and learning how to take it. Without spoilers, what can readers expect from The Rhythm of War that um, they can look forward to? Um, there is a character moment that uh, is was one of the pillars of my outline um, from the very beginning. Um, this scene that I, I was pushing toward um, and have been working on. And um, like there, there are like two, only two or three really big scenes that when I started my outline became my core pillars. And this is one of them. Mm. And so I. Um, um, reading that beta readers, they're feeling like it landed. So I'm hoping that in general it will. Um, but, you know, there won't be a moment like this um, until again, until like book seven or eight.